I am at the White House where President Biden just delivered remarks updating the nation in the aftermath of the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump yesterday at a political Trump campaign rally in uh, Berkeley County, in Pennsylvania. President Biden said he spoke with the former president. Uh, they had a short but good conversation and he said he's happy that the former president is recovering. Um, the president also updated the nation that the FBI will be in charge of this investigation looking into what happened. Uh, regarding the security around the um, parameters of the um, rally yesterday and as well as uh, noting that he has instructed that there should be additional security for the former president and also uh, the Republican convention that we kick off tomorrow in, in Milwaukee. President Biden said he has instructed down uh, the Secret Service and law enforcement to ensure that added security are provided to ensure the safety of people that we attend the event. Uh, he also added that he has instructed that they review the event that happened yesterday uh, to find out, uh, conduct an investigation to look into what happened. Uh, how the 20 year old um, white male uh, was able to access, um, conduct what he did yesterday. Um, this event uh, is a reminder for many people, it sent sharp waves. Uh, across the nation yesterday and this morning uh, to leaders around the world as people woke up uh, from a different time zone and heard the news of the attempted assassination. People were very grateful that the former pri um, president, uh, Donald Trump, uh, was in kill, uh, that he was just uh, minusculely uh, injured um, but and is doing well and is recovering but uh, they have also used this opportunity as they condemn the events to call for more unity uh, not just in the US as President Biden said across the world as we are seeing that we are in a very heightened toxic um, polarized political environment not just in the US as we have seen like this campaign uh, in the past couple of months have become but across the world uh, we recently had the yeah, last May there was an attempted assassination of the uh, of Slovakia uh, we have seen other attempted even on the president of Ukraine uh, President Zelensky there have been several attempts of uh, assassination on him as well so this just caught to mind and uh, it is time for unity not just for leaders uh, for the rhetoric uh, among political candidates, among leaders, to pay attention to what they're saying and not to incite in their followers uh, any any call for violence, uh, as, as we we saw what happened uh, yesterday at the campaign rally. But also for the U.S., this is a reminder of the uh, what. President Biden and the Vice President Kamala Harris have been calling for, as well as some lawmakers on Capitol Hill, um, for, for more regulation regarding assault weapons, that there is easy, easy access to assault weapons, and, and it, it has, is killing more, more young people, um, as we've seen with what happened in Parkland School, we saw what happened in Columbine, in, uh, I believe in the 90s, in 1996. And we're seeing more of this even at, um, at religious places like the, the synagogue and, and churches uh, across the nation. So this is a reminder to lawmakers to look into this or uh, 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 finding 
a way of coming together to, to work on a legislation that will prevent easy access to, to assault weapons, especially for young people like the 20 year old white male uh, that, that attempted to assassinate uh, the former president yesterday. It's also uh, an opportunity, as President Biden uh, said in his remark, that this is no place, there is no place in America for this type of attack or, or any violence for that matter. The assassination attempt is contrary to everything that Americans stand for. We stand for as a nation. It is not who we are as a nation. It is not America, and we cannot allow this to happen. Our former President Barack Obama yesterday, uh, minutes after the attack happened, um, posted on social media as well. Uh, President, former President um, Bill Clinton as well, and former President uh, George W. Bush as well. Um, they all condemned the uh, 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 the attack they attempted assassination and calling for unity, calling the, the political heightened rhetoric um, from candidates, from, from lawmakers that it needed to be torn down uh, and, and more civility, calling for more civility in how we deal with one another, in how we address one another, in how we talk to one another. The president, President Biden, uh, also said it will address, provide more update later on uh, this evening. And as I said, uh, the FBI uh, will be in charge of this investigation and uh, we will be providing more updates uh, as we get there. For our nation, as I said last night, there is no place in America for this kind of violence or any violence for that matter. An assassination attempt is contrary to everything we stand for as a, as a nation. Everything. It's not who we are as a nation. It's not America. And we cannot allow this to happen. Unity is the most elusive goal of all. But nothing is important than that right now. Unity. We'll debate and we'll disagree. It's not, that's not going to change. But it's gonna, we're going to not lose sight of fact who we are as Americans. Look. Vice President Harris and I were just briefed in the Situation Room by my Homeland Security team, including the Director of the FBI, the Secretary of Homeland Security, the Attorney General, the Director of the Secret Service, my Homeland Security Advisor, the National Security Advisor, and we're going to continue to be briefed. The FBI is leading this investigation, which is still in its early stages. We don't yet have any information about the motive of the shooter. We know who he is. I urge everyone, everyone, please, don't make assumptions about his motives or his affiliations. Let the FBI do their job and their partner agencies do their job. I'm instructed that this investigation be thorough and swift, and the investigators will have every resource they need to get this done. Look, as this investigation continues, here's what we're going to do. First, Mr. Trump is a former president and nominee of the Republican Party already receives a heightened level of security. And I've been consistent in my direction to the Secret Service to provide him with every resource, capability, and protective measure necessary to ensure his continued safety. Second, I've directed the head of the Secret Service to review all security measures for the, all security measures for the Republican National Convention, which is scheduled to start tomorrow. And third, I've directed an independent review of the national security at yesterday's rally to assess exactly what happened. And we'll share the results of that independent review with the American people as well. And finally, I'll be speaking more about this tonight at greater length from the Oval Office. We must unite as one nation. We must unite as one nation to demonstrate who we are. And so may God bless you all and may God protect our troops. Thank you very much. Mr. President, President. when you spoke to President Trump yesterday, what did you say? Mr. President. Mr. President.